Hey guys, what is going on? Commands Incorporated here. Today I'm making another video. Um, basically tomorrow I made a video, or yesterday I made a video on um, basically the commands I've done in the past. And today I'm uh, continuing the series, uh, showing you guys new commands that you can do in Minecraft. So um, first you're gonna need a command block. So you're gonna do slash give whoever you want to give it to, and then C O M M press tab, and then enter, and then place that down. And that's our command block. Now today I'm showing you guys uh, execute the execute command. By the way, you don't have to put slash in front of the command in a command block. You can keep slash out, but the execute command. Th this command is actually really, really useful. I use it like so much um, in some of the maps that I make. So basically, it goes as follows: um, you execute to whatever entity. Um, and whatever coordinates relative to them and then a command to do something to them or you can do slash execute whatever entity uh, coordinates relative to them detect coordinates relative to them block data and then the command so basically um, execute first let's say I wanted to execute something a command to basically I don't know a zombie so all entities uh, and then bracket type equal zombie so let's say if I wanted to do something like to a zombie, that has to be capitalized, the Z. But if I wanted to do it to, let's say, a skeleton, I would just put in skeleton right here. And basically it would just be on a skeleton. But I'm going to do it for a zombie for now. Um, so basically then I want to execute a command. This is what this means. I want to execute a certain command on a zombie. Um, and these are the coordinates relative to the zombie and then this is the command I want to do you have to have I don't think you actually have to have a slash I'm not sure but I'll just put a slash just in case I wanna have the command uh, let's say slash particle um, which magic basically this part is just the particle command um, I want the particles to spawn relative to him and I want them to be 0 0.5 blocks in X 1 and Y is 0 0.5 and Z and then uh, have a really really slow speed and have there be let's say 30 particles now what if I, if I make this command spam basically it just it makes this command repeat over and over and over again 20 times a second so if I summon a zombie now basically any zombie in the world now has this particle effect following them because what I've done is I've made the command basically execute a command that is this slash particle witch magic on them so now basically they have particles following them now let's say I wanted to place like a block under them um well first I would have to do something like this basically um this is the detect part of it execute um you call on me you see what it is right here slash execute entity type equals zombie and then whatever coordinates relative to them, and then detect, and then coordinates relative to them. Um, detect if there's air under them with the data value of one, and then slash set block block um, under them a uh, piece of stone. Basically, this detects if there's air, a block of air under them under a zombie and if so if there is then it'll set a block of stone under them so let's just um, up here oh hold on um execute command is a little bit glitchy I don't even know fail to execute detect as a zombie I don't know but basically maybe zero I don't know oh there it is right there yeah there it is has to be um, basically this is like the direction right here is the direction of um, whatever it is. So if it's like if I want to detect a stair block out of them, I would have that would be the part of the command where I would detect what direction it is in. So if I tried to hit the zombie over, then it would just keep placing blocks under it. So basically, the zombie can't even fall no matter what he tries to do. He will not be able to fall. So basically, that's what that does. Um, that's a lot about the execute command. That's pretty much all you really need to know. Um, you can execute it on any entity. If you want to do it on an item, item. There you go. Um, 
slash particle um, flame on it. Um, really small particles. Have it be really slow in one. There you go. Oh, wait, I didn't make it repeating. You have to make all these repeating always. You have to click this so it goes all the way to repeat and this all the way till it goes to always active. And then basically you just, you know, play some particles whenever an item drops. You can do this for um, arrows too, flying through the sky, or snowballs. Uh, so now when I shoot a bow, particles follow it. So that's really useful actually. That could be used in a lot of um, maps for um, map creators. So that's basically the command. If you guys liked the episode and it helped you out and, you know, you guys figured out how to use this command, then hit the like button. Subscribe if you guys are new, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.